last election. Yeah. Uh, After that. my election, I have more flexibility. The United States continues to stand with Ukraine, and earlier this morning I called Ukraine's acting defense minister to tell him that President Obama has approved additional non-lethal military assistance for health and welfare items and other supplies. Pro-Russian rebels have taken control of three government bases in eastern Ukraine, that, as President Obama promises, non-military aid to Ukraine's new president. Pressure is mounting on U.S. President Barack Obama to provide lethal aid to Ukraine's military. Senior lawmakers have long pushed for the U.S. to provide ammunition, small arms and training to Ukraine's troops in the wake of the Kremlin's military intervention. Poroshenko's speech came after President Obama pledged 41 million euros in non-lethal aid. During his speech, the Ukrainian president compared his country to Israel, saying both had the right to defend themselves. They need more military equipment. Please understand me correctly. Blankets, night vision, Googles are also important. But one cannot win the war with the blankets. The U.S. is one step away from providing Ukraine with $350 million worth of support after Congress unanimously passed a bill late on Thursday. But what does this exactly mean for Ukraine? Firstly, the bill means Washington could provide a wide range of military equipment and training to Ukrainian soldiers fighting militants in the country's eastern regions anti-tank weapons, ammunition, radars, surveillance drones, as well as optical guidance and communication systems could all potentially be provided. The U.S. State Department says the White House has not made a decision on whether to provide lethal assistance to Ukraine. State Department spokeswoman Jen Psaki said the U.S. is weighing options on how to support Ukraine in its fight against Russian-backed militants. A bipartisan group of U.S. senators led by Dick Durbin is calling on U.S. President Barack Obama to send lethal aid to Ukraine so the country can better defend itself against a Russian-backed insurgency. We want the United States right now to not only provide humanitarian aid to Ukraine, but also start providing serious weapons, right? I do, and I think uh, it's overdue. And you're specifically talking about what? Armored vehicles, anti-tank missiles, maybe anti-aircraft missiles, stuff like that, is that right? Uh, anti-tank uh, missiles, uh, radar systems so that they can identify where the artillery is coming from that is killing so many civilians. It is past time due that we allow uh, defensive weapons to the Ukrainian people so that they can defend themselves against this blatant Russian aggression and invasion of their country. President Obama said he'll continue to explore all options if diplomacy fails, but has not yet made a decision on whether to provide lethal aid to Ukraine against Russian-backed separatists. Both the House and Senate passed the Ukraine Freedom Support Act in late December, paving the way for $350 million worth in lethal and non-lethal military assistance, a rare agreement in the usually divided Congress. You have the Congress on a bipartisan basis calling for military assistance. You have Ukrainians calling for military assistance. And you have our NATO allies who will not provide the assistance as long as the United States is opposed to it. This is a decision the President of the United States needs to make, and he needs to make it. He should have made it months ago, but he needs to make it today. The U.S. is to send more non-lethal aid to Ukraine, including unarmed drones and military vehicles, according to Washington officials quoted anonymously. Last December, the U.S. Congress passed the Ukraine Freedom Support Act, which allows but does not require the U.S. to send lethal and non-lethal military aid to Ukraine. Non-lethal assistance has already landed on Ukraine's shores, but anything more powerful has yet to appear. The U.S. House of Representatives has overwhelmingly approved a resolution urging President Barack Obama to send lethal weapons to Ukraine. The president will make his decision, I'm confident, uh, soon but not before he's had a chance to hear back from uh, myself, from others who are having conversations uh, uh, in Europe. As rockets are launched into the skies over eastern Ukraine and shells hit apartment buildings in Donetsk, the human toll of the conflict is inescapable. President Obama said he'll continue to explore all options if diplomacy fails, but has not yet made a decision on whether to provide lethal aid to Ukraine against Russian-backed separatists. My last election, yeah. Yeah. After my election, I have more flexibility. Yeah. Yeah. I understand.
by transmitting this information to Vladimir and Ms. Denver.